Hi, I'm Rose Reisman, and welcome to Cooking with Rose. Now, the secret, you're actually in my kitchen. And this is where I have produced probably 2,000 recipes over many, many years. I won't tell you how many. But today, what I want to do are desserts. Now, not in a classic way, like giving you a big piece of chocolate cake or lemon meringue pie. I'm going to give you something called shot glass desserts. And I've produced about 19 different flavors of this for the restaurant I run called Glow. And instead of giving someone that big piece of cake, which can come in at six to 800 calories, you're looking at about 120 to 150 calories for these great desserts. So let's get started because you can do this so easily at home. First of all, I'm gonna make a really nice New York style cheesecake and no baking. Now what could be easier? So in my food processor, I'm gonna start with some light cream cheese. Now I got a lot here, but I'm going to be making about 16 or 20 of these. You're going to put in packages just like this. You notice I'm a little lazy. I don't bother cutting it up because you don't have to. I'm now going to add some condensed milk, but this is a low fat condensed milk. Condensed milk is just what it is, condensed. There's more sugar in it, but when you use a lighter version, it comes in at about 40% less calories and fat. Absolutely delicious. A little bit of sugar some freshly squeezed lemon juice. So this is just like your New York style cheesecake that you've had, you know, in Carnegie Deli in New York City. Little bit of lemon rind, and that's it. And now what we want to do is just process this up until it's nice and smooth. So these are always these noisy, noisy machines. It takes about 30 seconds to do, but you get the idea. Process it until it's really, really nice and smooth. Now, what we want to do is make the topping, which is called our raspberry coulis, a nice fancy word for raspberry sauce. But this is so easy to do. All I'm going to do is take some frozen berries that you just buy in your supermarket, defrost them, and then pour them into a small food processor. Now, don't get this on a white shirt, all right, because it really does, does stain if you do. A little bit of icing sugar, okay. That's it. Couldn't be easier than that. We're going to process this up to form our raspberry coulis. And this is also fabulous. Oh, this is even noisier. Now that is also fabulous over waffles in the morning, anything you want. You end up with a gorgeous, gorgeous sauce like this where I didn't even strain out the seeds. And now for fun, the bottom of the glass, have your choice, a nice cookie, some uh, ladyfinger sponge cake, or what I do is I make my own meringue. And this is just egg whites, few nuts, and um, sugar. I put it into the oven for about two hours, even leave it overnight, and it forms this great crunchy, mm, mm, so delicious. I could eat this before it goes into the shot glass. Like this, I'm now gonna take my cheesecake batter that we had in the food processor, Put it into a baggie or a piping bag that you can buy at any cake store and just have fun. This is where I, you can get the kids involved. This is fantastic. Just squeeze it in like that. Bang it down just a little bit. Take our raspberry sauce, pour it over top. You're going to chill this little baby up for a couple of hours so that you let the nice cheesecake settle. That is it. And then actually when it's ready, you're going to put on a beautiful berry if you'd like. Voila, a gorgeous cheesecake. Now, let's have dessert chocolate because chocolate is my idea of dessert. And what's better than just one chocolate? Three chocolates. So I've got a dark chocolate mousse, a white, and a milk chocolate. This is to die for. And you will not believe how many less calories, fat, and cholesterol because I'm not using whipping cream. I'm taking a little bit of chocolate, and this is where you're going to use either your, either, not either, all your white, your dark, and your milk. Melt it with just a teeny bit, about a tablespoon of butter. That's not going to stop your heart at all, so don't worry about it. To that, I'm going to add one egg yolk, okay, just to give it that nice thickness that a mousse does. But most mousse end up having two cups of whipping cream, which I'm not going to add. Mix this up, and if the chocolate's a little warm, just let it cool down nicely. And now, instead of whipping cream, we're going to do beaten egg whites. So I'm taking about half a cup of egg whites, pour it into a very clean bowl. If it's not clean or there's a speck of anything in it, it won't end up whipping well. And so if you're beating your egg whites for over 10, 15 minutes, you've done something wrong. Start again. And now, with just a nice handy mixer like this, see, we're going to put it up on the highest speed possible. You're going to whisk these egg whites and gradually add your sugar. And when all the sugar is incorporated, it will take about two to three minutes. You're going to have your beaten egg whites that are nice and firm 
looking like this. Okay, so that if you ended up turning this bowl over, you'd end up having it not land anywhere else but staying in the bowl. We'll add the chocolate. You're going to whip this in. All right, you remember, you're going to be doing this for all three chocolates. Just blend it in very gradually. And then you're going to pipe it into your bags, as we have here. And the only layer I'm missing is my milk chocolate. So this one's already partially done, but look how beautiful this is. Just like that. Again, let it just set. Give it a little bang down. I like to use some chocolate shavings. Voila, you have your gorgeous chocolate, three chocolate mousse. But wait, I've got more for you. Just imagine a great evening party you're throwing at home and you want to show an entire bar of little mini shot glass desserts. This is what I have here and actually at our restaurant Glow you can get these to take out and they're absolutely sensational, a real crowd pleaser and you know what? To finish it off, where is my little spoon? Because this looks just too good. Well, let me try this right now. One bite of this and let's see. Mm to die for. Thanks for joining me cooking with Rose. You can check out all these recipes on the website.